Throughout history, the region stretching from the Indian to the Pacific Oceans has been a key shipping route for global trade, which now amounts to $17.9 trillion a year. The free and open Indo-Pacific strategy was first introduced by Prime Minister Shinzo Abe in 2016 at the 6th Tokyo International Conference on African Development. Japan is promoting fundamental principles such as the rule of law and freedom of navigation, connectivity including through quality infrastructure development, and assistance for capacity building on maritime law enforcement. The, the most important thing is the region of what we call now the Indo-Pacific uh, has become a major economic powerhouse. How we produce security and stability in this region, but that is the main purpose of the Indo-Pacific strategy. Prime Minister Abe talked about two seas and two continents. That is from Africa and Asia now also come into the picture. In security, I think Japan plays uh, a huge role with this new concept about, you know, the free and open uh, Indo-Pacific. Japan's provision of Coast Guard vessels to countries like Indonesia, uh, Philippines, it gives these countries the capacity to actually monitor waters around their coastlines. So it applies not only to law and order at sea, but it applies to terrorism, piracy, smuggling. We are very grateful to the Japanese government in providing all this capability, which led to the better performance of our mandate as the Philippine Coast Guard. We expect a very significant decrease in piracy incidents because of these assets and monitoring systems that will be installed. We have an active exercise, joint exercise with the Japan Coast Guard in Indonesian waters. Japan gave us good example how to manage or how to conduct good management in uh, Coast Guard activities. For strengthening the maritime capacities of the Indo-Pacific littoral is a very important one. I would think the Japanese capacity building uh, initiative uh, is being received with uh, enthusiasm, with uh, a lot of uh, a positive uh, approach. So I think this is going to be, uh, we hopefully will see a lot more from Japan in contributing to the capacities uh, of the littoral countries. Mm -hmm.